be dangerous, dangerous, dangerous. Sick is needed, patriots, patriots. We play the game of wicked, we try to score plenty of runs But you set out to take all we give, show the combat, show the gap Now, show the slips that we gon' hit it Your legs they go knock out the hand, put it back to the ball, over the bar ball Shot cover drive on simply New Lounge, it's the home of the St. Davis Patriots And we've just had a completion of a very successful training camp for the St. Davis Patriots Getting prepared for its first game in the Hero CPL 2015 I'm here with Coach Eric Simons and Carlos Bartwett. Coach, welcome again, and how was the camp? Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, very successful, as you called it. I think, you know, we, we understand that these tournaments, this period is a bit of a honeymoon period because we haven't played any matches yet, but um, so you, you have to just concentrate on, on the process that we have to follow, the, the exercise that we do. We had two really good practice matches. Um, which can often degenerate into not enough focus um, and what I'm really impressed with was how focused the guys were, how much uh, energy they showed, how much competitiveness they showed and I think that's important. So we've certainly walked away from the last four or five days feeling we'd be pretty ready for, uh, for the tournament. Now coach, I know that you've come out of an IPL background, this is your first time in the CPL and as we conducted a number of interviews, your job you said was to just come, have a look for us of the to see what's happening with the guys. How impressed are you with the talent that you saw first of the completion and even the four youngsters or five youngsters that were part of the, the squad? Yeah, I think as I said, I, when, when I arrived at it, you know, my job is to very much just to understand the guys, to get to know what they're about, who they are. Um, you can't come here and try and change things in six weeks and that's, that's crazy to try and do that. So it's more about saying what, what talent do we have and what, what we can do with it. And I think that from that perspective, um, I've really enjoyed it. I, I think. There have been a few things, I think the, the receptiveness of the guys, how, how much they want to learn, how much they're keen to, to engage and talk. Team meetings when we have had chats have been really good, guys have contributed. We've had some really good under-19s, we've, uh, we've had to make a selection, we actually tried to see if we can get, get a few more than just the one. Because we saw some real talent and we've, uh, we've ended up uh, choosing Nickel Duba from, um, from Canada. And uh, we're very excited about what he can bring to the tournament as well. So, so all, in, all in all, very impressed with the talent, very impressed with the enthusiasm. And I think that's the key thing, you know. We're, we're putting a lot of young guys on our side, and I think that if guys are prepared to work hard and learn, then, then greatness lies ahead of them. Have you had a chance to look at the one and a half games so far at the CPL? I know yeah. we were still training at the same time, but at the same time, did you get a chance to view anything? Yeah, we saw the first game. Um, the second game was very much part of what was during our, our match, so we couldn't see too much of it. And uh, you know, it's something that pretty much we saw in the past. You know, some some teams trying to find find um, unity as a team, as an organisation. You know, trying to find how to play together, how to bat together, how to bowl together. Some teams are fine immediately, but often at this stage of the tournament, it revolves around individuals doing well. And then as the tournament unfolds, you you start seeing a team develop as such. You know, so. Um, I, th I think the other thing is that at this stage you'll find the batting sides can dominate a bit more as well because the wickets are still fresh. But uh, once, the, once the wickets have been played a lot, on a lot more and the bowlers start to understand what batsmen's tactics are, you'll, you'll find the, the game evens out a lot in terms of bat and ball. Alright, we also have here at the press conference Carlos Batwet, who is from Mambi, who played for the Antigua Hawks, but is now playing for the St. Stephen's Patriots because he was one of the protected players. Carlos, how has the process gone so far, finding your new teammates in a new team? Because you've had now Shaila Freedy, Shaila Tanvi and a couple other youngsters. What's the difference between the Antigua Hawks Bill and moving forward now with the St. Stephen's Patriots? Um, thanks for having me, first of all. Um, I don't want to make too much comparisons, um, but the experience in the camp this far has been very relaxed, um, well it's been intense. Um, you know, off the field, you guys share jokes together, often playing groups of guys together, mingling and socialising. But as soon as we get on the bus to go to the park, everyone is switched on. Everyone has one common goal in mind. And the management staff has been very, very selective um, in how we go about doing what we do. And everything is goal focused as opposed to just doing things for doing it sake. There's always a reason behind it. Anytime you can ask the management staff, oh, why are we doing X, Y, or Z? And they have the answer. So there's been a lot of planning going on behind the scenes. And once you guys step on the bus, it's game time. All right, now, what about your own personal form? I know that you were in the West Indies Test Squad. You still have your dream to 
fully get into the West Indies team. How are you? What is your objective now going into this Hero CPL T20 tournament? Um, one would be to get into the team, and but you have your own personal goals. Um, I really don't like to set goals too far ahead. Um, most of all, take it day by day. And more importantly, just do what the team requires of me at that point in time. Um, it's easy to say we won't take 50 wickets or score 500 runs, but if we do that and the team loses, then that doesn't say much for my performance. So it's just about me being ready and being versatile enough to do what the team requires at that point in time. Now, I did an interview with you and you had a little jingle from it where everybody enjoyed it. So maybe if you could give us that jingle again, you know, was asking everybody to come out with the fans because the atmosphere is, I don't know if you remember exactly the same thing, but you have a chance now to promote you know, the Sinkers Amibis pictures for the first game, um, right here with Sinkers Amibis. <laughs> um, well, not really a jingle, but <laughs> just um, asking all the fans to come out support. Um, my first two games will be away from home. But we can feel the love and support if it's behind the TV, see, behind the TV set. So, you know, in bars and pubs and posting pictures, tagging the Facebook or Instagram page, we can feel the love and we appreciate it. We let the support thus far. Um, even like practice games, people have been coming out and making themselves heard. So, we appreciate that. And we look forward to getting at least six or seven lanes when we get back to St. Kitts. Coach, finally, um, basically, since I've been talking to you, very conservative, um, and it seems as if you, that has rubbed off into the, in, into, into, into the players. And um, your first objective for this tournament? Well, I think Carlos makes a good point. You don't you don't look too far ahead. You know, you look to the next game, the next ball, um, the next battle, if you, if you like, and that's really what it's about. So yeah, I think I think every team needs to find their strengths and and the areas they need to improve on. And uh, I think you know as much as as much as we've achieved from the, the the practices and the practice matches, there's nothing better to test your what you've achieved as uh, as an actual match. So I think Wednesday will be our first chance to really get out there as a unit and see what we're about. And I think from that point on, it's a case of tweaking things and and making sure we keep we keep growing and keep moving forward. But um, we we, we certainly want to look further forward than, than Wednesday night's match. You'll have Martin joining you for the first game because he has a T20 game on Tuesday. Well, that is the objective. The objective is that he flies in and does join us, but obviously it depends on a lot of things. You know, how, you know, just how he feels when he gets there, how his flight goes, how well he's rested after after the T20, and you know, how intense it was. So the the idea is yes, to be well have him, but um, one has to keep an open mind. Be dangerous, dangerous, dangerous. Sink his knee, his patriots, patriots. Patriots are going away for their very first, first set of games. How do you feel about making the players Well, it's really a nice feel to see our sports personality find a way to do good things. I think it's a new and of course, for the region by extension. This year, I think it is particularly pleased to be hosting the CPL, and we are um, happy to be in partnership with the it's the UDA of, of the U Lounge and, and so finding them here as it were enjoying the comfort of one of the sponsors certainly is a good thing. We want to wish them well and they go always with the prayers and the good wishes of the people of St. Kitts and Nevis. Recently some local sponsors have come on board showing their support of the local team. What do you think about this? I think that is a good show of confidence for the local team. The more, the merrier. We would want our sports personalities to have the full share of the rewards which are available for those who engage professionally in a sport of this nature. Some of us have been concerned that for too long the cricketing aspect of our sport in stock has been somewhat neglected. And I believe that as people come forward providing sponsorship and support, more for young people will be motivated to see this as a profession in which they would want to engage. Okay, over to you, AG. Can we yeah. expect to see you at some, if not all, of the games this year? I certainly would. Um, in speaking to Captain Marlon Samuels just now, he's very confident that this year he has a much better team than he did last year. Mm -hmm. Um, there are some match winners that he has that strengthen the team very much. 
and with the support staff, Port Simons and the others. I think that this year for us to be a much better showing for our local team than when they win Antigua last year. I think that it's very exciting to have these young critters um, come here and have as a base and we will surely give our Kitchen fans, Kitchen Division fans, much joy and we wish them all the best that they will go on to um, take the finals. Yes. We'll reach all the way this yes. year. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Mr. Anyone PM, else? finally. Mr. No, AG. Mr. AG, sorry, <laughs> finally. <Yeah. Fairly. laughs> Can you just send a message out to everybody in Sinkis and Nevis, all the fans to come on out and support the Sinkis and Nevis creatures? I think this will be very important for both you and the PM to yeah. send us messages out, especially the clarion call for people to support the CPL for 2015. Sure, sure, sure. I think that this is a great event, the greatest party in the Caribbean, this year, the greatest summer party, and we call all our fans, sports fans, cricket fans, to come out and lend support to the local team. I think these guys are just raring to go, and they'll give us a good, good showing this year. And we need to give them their full support. And we expect to see them all at Warner Park. PM, we know we are, you'll be back. Um, your message to the entire nation to, to rally behind the Sinkers Nevis Patriots for the CPL. Full support, full support all the way for the yes, CPL. Uh, go Patriots. Go Patriots. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right.